what's going on guys welcome back to the rift my name is terrence and yes i am well aware that my background is getting more and more out of control i should probably get a real backdrop but alas a while back i wrote a script for the top five experiences i would like to see in vr that list included ready player one's oasis an open world driving experience and madden football little did i know at least for the latter the experience I was looking for already existed. 2MD VR Football Unleashed is, as you've probably surmised by the title, an American football virtual reality game developed by the team over at Truant Pixel. There are actually several versions of this game. Check this out. You have 2MD VR Football for the PSVR, 2MD VR Football for Steam VR, 2MD VR Football Unleashed for the Oculus Store, and as I was beginning this review, a new title was released on Steam called 2MD VR Football Evolution. Because when Evolution came out, I had already started working on this review, we're simply going to be focusing on the Oculus Quest version of 2MD VR Football. As someone who's been a fan of football sims since game day 2001 for the PS1, and then later becoming a full-on addict with Madden 05 and 2K5, a VR football experience was kind of like a no-brainer for me to fall in love with. In fact, the first three games I bought for my Oculus Quest were Thrill of the Fight, which is a sports boxing related game, uh, Beat Saber, which, I mean, it's Beat Saber, and then 2MD VR Football Unleashed. But enough with exposition, let's talk about the game. 2MD's Oculus Store page states that you can throw like a pro, draw your own plays, choose from eight unique customizable teams with spectacular replayability, challenging AI, and best of all, it features the voice talents of Xander Mobus, Sungwon Cho, and David Wald. Wait, who? Wait, who are these people? I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know who these guys were. I thought they were supposed to be like NFL stars or NCAA stars from yesteryears, but Nope, anime, they're, they're all anime voice actors. Cool, cool, cool. Jumping into the game is extremely intuitive. Right from the home menu, you are given the options to choose your team, change their primary colors, choose your QB's voice, view awards, and most importantly, draw custom plays. Custom plays are essential because while the default plays are okay, they're not nearly as effective as plays you drew up yourself. Also, it took me way longer than it should have to realize that in order to successfully draw your play, the marker has to make contact with the drawing board. Once you're in the game, it is honestly amazing how simple yet immersive the visuals can be. While the visuals are no Half-Life Alex, they are bright and perfectly scaled. Throwing the ball with the touch controllers took a bit to get used to, not because it was difficult, but because you have to adjust to the motion, power, and speed necessary to complete passes to each of your receivers. If you're having trouble with the throwing mechanics, the training mode does a great job of providing you with targets in various locations and distances to get you warmed up and acclimated. Once you're in a match, gameplay simply consists of you playing offense and offense alone in an attempt to get into the end zone. So basically football. Passing, running, and scrambling are all here and fun. However, handing the ball off is basically useless. The few times I succeeded in handing off the ball, I also succeeded in losing a few yards. My advice, stick to passing the ball or scrambling with the QB. I will say that getting sacked or tackled feels the right amount of frightening. Watching tackle dummies come alive and gravitate to you is enough to make you panic throw an interception. Most matches are essentially two minute drills where you battle to score more points than the computer opponent. And while I haven't won any championships yet, I've accumulated a few trophies. I have to give 2MD props on building a simple arcade football game with a ton of replayability. Between competitive single player and the training mode, this game is worth every bit of the $15 I paid for it. Personally, I'd still love to see a full-fledged American football sim make its way to VR with franchise options such as trading, drafting, and watching your players evolve or regress over their careers. But 2MD is a really solid start. So if you own a VR headset and you got an itch in your jockstrap, 2MD VR football should be just enough to provide a satisfying scratch. 
thank you guys so much for watching if you have a vr experience you'd like me to check out drop it in the comments below if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and leave me some constructive feedback in the comments i do read those and drop me a subscription if you want to see what i'm going to play next as always thank you guys so much for watching until the next video peace